Hello guys, I am making this video to give you the frequently asked questions answers after I got uh, the highest marks in uh, part A MRCS September 2020 exam. I have been frequently contacted by many people who are going to attempt this exam and they want to know what is the secret of this success. First of all, uh, I never aimed it. It just happened by chance. But what did I do is uh, prepare for any exam thoroughly. And it was the same for this exam also. So there are certain advantages and disadvantages to any level where you are in your medical education. But believe me, it is possible for each of you to just clear it at first attempt. So the target should not be to have the highest score, but yes, to have a comfortable score to be eligible to give the part B exam. So I'm going to give you a rough idea what I went through, how did I prepare for it and what resources I used. So first of all, you must know the basic things. Many people are attempting or wasting their time for this three marks or five marks. So believe me, it's not worth your effort just to lose your sleep or lose your patience and be anxious about all those questions for which you have not been able to find the answers rather than you should focus on the more weightage you know as the paper one is for basic sciences contains 180 marks paper two is of 120 marks and it is related to principles of surgery in general out of this paper one 180 marks you have anatomy of 75 marks, physiology of 45 and pathology of 37. So it makes it almost more than 150 marks for these three subjects only. So if you are going to hunt for these three marks or five marks, you are going to lose your hard work and effort on this. So according to me, you should focus more on this and this will follow. You should not neglect them, but don't waste your time for the stupid questions or the questions which are not accurate and recalls or for the things you are not able to find the answers about just be calm and just focus on this major chunk and you will get it done so coming to the resources i use draftery which is a great book for revision of your basic sciences emrcs recalls pause your sheet and past it i'll come to each of one according to the subject wise what is to be read and what is to be ignored. So for anatomy, I used EMRCS question bank and Raftery. For physiology, again EMRCS plus Raftery and lots of YouTube videos because physiology is not very much clearly given in Raftery. Whatever is given is very concise, though it is uh, well written, but still uh, you need to enhance your knowledge with lots of other information. And for that YouTube free, Videos are great uh, accompanying. For pathology, again, the pathology is most related to paper two scenarios. So if you finish your paper two reading first and then come to pathology, it makes sense. Then it becomes very easy. For that also, you have to use EMRCS and pass test, which is optional. For other all the things, EMRCS and recalls, and what about past test? So I had a subscription of past test. I did it once, but it is very extensive. And I came to know at the end of my time uh, when the exam was approaching, it was very much difficult for me to even the revise the question which I did wrong in past test. So it was almost 800 questions which I made wrong in the first attempt while doing past test question bank. And then I could hardly do revision of those 200 or 300 questions which I did not make it correct in the first attempt in passes. So even I could not revise the complete question bank of which was wrong only. So just forget the complete question bank. So pass test is good, but EMRCS is very much relevant to the exam. So I would advise just to EMRCS thoroughly once, twice, thrice, whatever time permits you. And pass test, if you are able to do it, do it but don't don't just run after it so how much time is required so according to me four months are good enough time if you can uh, devote around three to four hours a day 
for initial first reading in two months three to four hours a day then first revision in one month so definitely you are fast enough now and in the last month so many people are asking in the last month what should we do i picked up recalls very late in last 10 or 15 days so i would advise not to do that mistake take the recalls first at least uh, previous five years recalls then uh, do revision second revision third revision whatever it takes for you to just go through the emrcs and uh, memorize it in a way that you are not going to forget the questions and answers it's not about mugging up the question and answers it's about making your common sense work you must know that how the questions are asked and how you are going to answer them they will tweak the questions 70 percent of the questions will be there from all these resources you have already seen them but it will not be as same as given in your resource so it might be a minor detail change in the question minor detail change in the options so use your common sense on the day of exam then you will be able to do it 20 percent of the question may be completely new so it is new for everybody not for only you and out of those 20 percent also they will not make it difficult for each question so out of those 20 percent to 30 percent questions almost more than half of questions will be easier ones so you are going to be able to uh, solve them on your own even if you have seen them first time and rest of the questions definitely it will be difficult so uh, there is no negative marking use your intuition mark any answer if it is right it is right if it is not you are not going to lose anything for that and while you are doing recalls just remember that recalls are incomplete question scenarios the questions and answers or the options given or prepared by the candidates who have undergone the exams previously so don't take them as a hundred percent accurate things but it can give you some idea about a question or a topic at least so suppose one topic which was not anywhere in the recalls like a Vostria bankruptcy question which was asked in our exam regarding a patient having a chyle in urine and a scrotal swelling so this is something which was new in our exam so if i have put something regarding that you now know that you have to read something about the, this filariasis and uh, the microbiology of this uh, organism or the clinical presentation so you are prepared for any question related to that topic coming to your exam in the last month don't hunt for the new information just stick to what you have done so far and you will be able to go through it use your social media for a purpose there are lots of facebook groups telegram groups youtube videos which you can use for your exam preparation use them thoroughly rather than wasting your time on netflix or prime videos you can use this audiovisual information which will enhance your knowledge and also be able to give you more than a book reading because audiovisual information is always appreciated by our brains so you will be able to recall them easily use search button do your own research i have always been telling uh, everybody that just don't seek answers seek questions first then you uh, you can use your research and then you'll not forget that answer so all the rest seek knowledge gain it and spread the knowledge and the best way to learn is to teach so always try to teach your peers your colleagues your juniors then you'll not forget on the day of exam thank you so much